Welcome to video three. Okay, what we need to do next is set this hierarchy up, these planets, so that they can each orbit at their own speed around the sun. Uh, because in the last animation they all moved at the same speed, which just looked stupid. Okay, so that does take some setting up, so that's what we're going to do in this video. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make sure that you've got the sun selected, go to frame one, and we're going to remove this um, animation that we've currently got on there. So to do that, we're going to click on edit. Then we're going to go to delete by type and we're going to click on channels and that removes all the animation. There you go. No more keyframes. When you press play, nothing happens. Wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so back to frame one. What we need to do next is put some of these into groups. Um, and that's important. So we're going to select planet which is this one. Um, let's zoom in a little bit more so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to select this planet here and we're going to put it into a group. So you can do that any way you want. I'm going to click on edit and then go to group. And that has now created something called group one, which is what I want. Uh, and so now I'm going to look in the outliner by, by going to window outliner. And I can now see, as soon as I make this big enough, that within the hierarchy that I've set up for the sun um, there is something called group one and within group one is the planet now the reason that I've done that is so that I can animate the group instead of the planet which allows me a, a lot more control over what I'm doing later okay so what is also good about it is even if I'd changed any of this like if you check out on the planet the translate value is set at 4, the scale values are all set at 0 0.2. The group for that, everything set at 0, the scale set at 1, which means I've got a sort of a clean slate to work with, which is good as well. Okay, so now keeping the outliner open, we're probably going to keep this open all the way through the animation so we can see exactly what we're working on. Um, what I want to do next is um, I'm just going to press the, the W key to select the translate tool. Now what's good at that about that is you can see that even though I've got this group one selected uh, which is for the planet, um, the pivot point if I press E as well for the rotate is directly in the middle of the Sun because it's using the pivot point from the parent which is still the Sun which means that the pivot point is perfectly placed for creating an orbit around the Sun okay so that is also something that is quite awesome about this so what we need to do now is just work your way down um, the planets pressing G for each one just putting each one into a group okay I'm just gonna have to zoom in on the tiny little moon as well and just put that into a group okay and that is now set up and ready to animate with so We'll start worrying about animating with this in the next step.